Thomas Jefferson said, I hold the precepts of Jesus Christ as delivered by himself to be the most pure, benevolent, and sublime which have ever been preached to man. This is Daniel White the Third with Just Jesus, a podcast designed to celebrate the birth, life, death, burial, and resurrection of Jesus Christ, the impact he has on the world, and the salvation he offers for all people. This is episode 91. The aim of this podcast is to encourage you to begin a personal relationship with Jesus Christ and to begin to live your life according to his word and his will. Our Just Jesus passage from the word of God today is Hebrews 8.10, which reads, For this is the covenant that I will make with the house of Israel after those days, saith the Lord. I will put my laws into their mind and write them in their hearts. And I will be to them a God, and they shall be to me a people. Our featured Just Jesus quote today is from Phillips Brooks. He said, feed on Christ, and then go and live your life. And it is Christ in you that lives your life, that helps the poor, that tells the truth, that fights the battle, and that wins the crown. Glory be to God. Holy Father God, we praise you and we thank you so much for Jesus Christ. Uh, Lord, as we enter into this wonderful season, and we give you glory, praise, and honor for your Holy Son, the Lord Jesus Christ, we give him praise and honor and glory as well. Lord, we thank you for suffering and shedding your blood on the cross for our sins, dying on the cross for our sins so that we can go free and uh, have an abundant life on earth and then a home in heaven to boot. For your glory, praise, and honor, we give you praise and we pray for every soul living today to come to know you as Savior. In Jesus Christ, the name we pray and for his sake. Amen. Ladies and gentlemen, Jesus Christ said, I am the way, the truth, and the life. No man cometh unto the Father but by me. In the early days after Jesus' ascension to heaven, the people we now call followers of Christ or Christians simply called their new faith the way. Yes, the way to a relationship with God through Jesus Christ, the way to joy, the way to peace, and the way to eternal life with God in heaven. Do you want to know the way to all of these blessings? Allow me to show you how. First, dear friend, accept the fact that you are a sinner and that you have broken God's law. The Bible says in Romans 3.23, For all have sinned and come short of the glory of God. Second, accept the fact that there is a penalty for sin. The Bible states in Romans 6.23, For the wages of sin is death. Third, accept the fact that you are on the road to hell without the Lord Jesus Christ as your Savior if you have not trusted him as your Savior. Jesus Christ said in Matthew 10, 28, And fear not them which kill the body, but are not able to kill the soul, but rather fear him which is able to destroy both soul and body 
in hell. Also, the Bible states in Revelation 21, 8, But the fearful and unbelieving, and the abominable, and murderers, and whoremongers, and sorcerers, and idolaters, and all liars, shall have their part in the lake which burneth with fire and brimstone, which is the second death. Now, this is bad news, but here's the good news. Jesus Christ is said in John 3.16, For God so loved the world that he gave his only begotten Son, his name is Jesus Christ, that whosoever believeth in him should not perish, but have everlasting life. Just believe in your heart in the Lord Jesus Christ. Believe that he died for your sins, was buried, and rose from the dead by the power of God for you so that you can live forever with him. Pray and ask him to come into your heart today to save your soul, and he will. Romans 10.13 says, For whosoever shall call upon the name of the Lord shall be saved. Until next time, my beloved, please remember that at the end of the day, only one thing matters, and that's Jesus. Just Jesus and nothing else. God bless you.